The Gerard Nier rifle was an air gun designed by Tiroli and invented Bartholomew Currency as Gerard Nier circa 1779. The weapon was also known as the Windbo 1 quarter CHSE. One of the rifle's more famous associations is its purported use on the Lewis and Clark expedition to explore and map the western part of North America in the early 1800s. History and use The Gerard Nier rifle was in service with the Austrian army from 1780 to around 1815. The advantages of a high rate of fire, no smoke from propellants, and low muzzle report granted it initial acceptance, but it was eventually removed from service for several reasons. While the detachable air reservoir was capable of around 30 shots it took nearly 1500 strokes of a hand pump to fill those reservoirs. Later, a wagon-mounted pump was provided. The reservoirs themselves, made from hammer sheet iron held together with rivets and sealed by brazing, proved very difficult to manufacture using the techniques of the period and were always in short supply. In addition, the weapon was very delicate and a small break could make it inoperable. Finally, it was very different from any other weapon of the time and any soldier using it needed to be highly trained. The Lewis and Clark expedition used the rifle in the demonstrations that they performed for nearly every Native American tribe they encountered on the expedition. The Jarandani repeating air rifle, presented here is information which finally develops a fairly clear picture of the features and history of the Jarandani military repeating air rifle. This information has become especially interesting and relevant because so much of it is new. The operation and special features of this gun, even its shortcomings, may be even more important to us than its fabled firepower. After inventing an ingenious, but unreliable and unsafe, multiple feed system for powder burning firearms in the very late 1700s, Bartholomew Currency as Gerandini of Vienna very successfully adapted the system to large bore air guns. Most of the following details are from the presentation of the design and details of this gun recently published by the British gun researchers Geoffrey Baker and Colin Curry and the physical research of Ernie Cowan and Rick Keller, both combined with research and analysis by Robert Beeman. The Gerandini system was adopted, in great secrecy, as the Austrian military repeating air rifle. It has been recorded that the system was invented in 1779 or 1780, but deliveries of these guns to the Austrian army did not begin until between 1787 and 1791. Hoffer Euro unregistered trademark S classic reference on antique air guns and Hummelberger and Scherer indicate that about 1500 Gerandini military air guns were produced and that finally they were retired from service to Ulmer 1 quarter TZ in Bohemia in 1815. Specimens with suggested, but unsupported, dates as early as 1797, and similar versions, but more advanced than the military models, are known from Joseph Lowenz and Joseph Contrina in Vienna. Hoff indicates that other Viennese gunmakers started making most of their copies of the Gerandini system well after the Austrian army had given up all interest in such guns in 1815. Samuel Stowe and Mayer also began to make modified, surely very expensive, versions of these guns in his London shop from about 1806 to 1832. Design and capabilities, the rifle was 4 feet long and weighed 10 pounds, about the same basic size and weight as other muskets of the time. It fired a .46 caliber ball and it had a tubular, gravity-fed magazine with a capacity of 20 balls. This gravity-operated design was such that the rifle had to be pointed upwards in order to drop each ball into the breech block. Unlike its contemporary, muzzle-loading muskets, which required the rifleman to stand up to reload with powder and ball, the shooter could reload a ball from the magazine by holding the rifle vertically while lying on his back and operating the ball delivery mechanism. The rifleman then could roll back into position to fire, allowing the rifleman to keep a low profile. Contemporary regulations of 1788 required that each rifleman, in addition to the rifle itself, be equipped with three compressed air reservoirs, cleaning stick, hand pump, lead ladle, and 100 lead balls, one in the chamber, 19 in the magazine built into the rifle and the remaining 80 in 14 tubes. Equipment not carried attached to the rifle was held in a special leather knapsack. It was also necessary to keep the leather gaskets of the reservoir moist in order to maintain a good seal and prevent leakage. The air reservoir was in the club-shaped butt. With a full air reservoir, 
the Gerard Nier rifle had the capacity to shoot 30 shots at useful pressure. These balls were effective to approximately 150 yards on a full load. The power declined as the air reservoir was emptied. Importance The Gerard Nier rifle was an important first. It was the first repeating rifle of any kind to see military service. It was one of the first uses of a tubular magazine. And, although it saw service for only 35 years, it predated and was more advanced in design and mechanical technology than the Henry rifle which arrived 50 years later. See also, Weapons of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, footnotes. Sources, Beeman's History on Austrian Large Boar Air Guns I Benemeriti di Cortina da Euro Unregistered Trademark Ampezzo, Die Windbob 1 Quarter CHSE, 1, Gerard Nier Rifle is used by Lewis and Clark at the National Firearms Museum.